The Sony Xperia Z1 Compact is a high-end smartphone, uh, but as the name suggests, it's rather smaller than the high-end ones we've seen lately. Yeah, well, you may remember Sony's 5-inch Xperia Z1. Uh, this is the slightly smaller, cuter version. It goes down to a 4-inch screen, 720p resolution, and it's um, just a little bit more cute. In fact, it's a very similar size to my iPhone 5C. Yeah, it obviously takes some design cues, I think, from Apple, but there's nothing wrong with that. Um, it's actually quite a refreshing change to see a smartphone which is small enough to go comfortably in your pocket. Um, there are problems, there are compromises that come with that. Um, I personally find it a little bit tricky to uh, to type on a smaller screen, but we're pleased to see that they haven't dialed back the, uh, the internal specification. Um, Samsung, for example, did the S3 and then they did the S3 Mini, uh, and the Mini had a slower processor, a worse screen, and so forth. This actually still feels like a premium phone. Indeed, if you look, read through the specifications, you're actually losing very little in terms of specs. You've still got the Snapdragon 800 processor, you've still got the Adreno 330 graphics. The screen has dropped from 1080p to 720p, but at 4 inches, it's really not a difference you're going to notice. It's still very, very sharp. Um, there's still 802.11ac, there's a, still the same 20.7 megapixel camera, which is really very good by smartphone standards. NFC, there's really nothing missing. In terms of expandability, same. There's not dumped out anything from that side. There's still micro SD, micro USB, of course there's a SIM slot, and yeah, the whole lot. And it's probably worth mentioning, this has all its connectivity covered in little flaps, which means that it's actually waterproof to 1.5 meters. So if, well, myself or Darren, as we often do, commute to work on a particularly rainy day, this is a phone that won't die if it's in your pocket. Yeah, because it's a proper quality smartphone, it comes in at a proper quality price. Uh, we're looking at about £440 SIM free. Um, but that's not too unreasonable. Uh, when we see it on contract, I expect it's going to come in at something like £99 on a 30-ish quid a month uh, deal. So it's certainly within line um, with you know rivals such as the Galaxy S4 or what have you, um, and a little bit cheaper than an iPhone. Indeed. I mean, there's, there's really nothing wrong with this phone. You're not losing anything by going to a smaller phone. The performance is really, really quick. And all our benchmarks, it's right on a par with things like even the giant size Galaxy Note 3. It's not far off that. Nexus 5, game performance is great. Battery life is one other thing we found that was really, very, very good. Video playback lasted for a ridiculous amount of time. It was something like 20 hours of video playback. But yeah, all in all, this is a tough, fast, compact smartphone. You can see it making quite a few friends. Click to subscribe to our YouTube channel and come back every Wednesday for new hot hardware videos.